Alrighty guys, fun little interesting video today. We're going to be doing a mukbang right now, eating this very beautiful pineapple pizza live on air, just like the sign says me, says, says me, says, says behind me. Uh, yeah, I just got this out of the oven and we haven't done a mukbang in a while and I thought, well, now's the time. I'm hungry, it's time to eat. I've also got a parcel that I'm going to be unboxing for you guys while I eat said pizza. Let's do it right now. We need content, so this is what we're, this is <laughs> this is what we're doing, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Very hot. Very hot. Hmm. I saw an interesting interview. Spider Man. And his girlfriend, Zendaya. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? They, um, was, I think it was a show called Agree to Disagree. It was an online web show, right? Anyway, I'll get to you in a second. Hang on. Basically, they ask each other many questions. One of them was about pizza. So the question was, do you like pineapple on pizza? Do you like a Hawaiian pizza? And Spider-Man, what's his name? I had his head, I had his head, I had his name in my head uh, a little while ago, but I've forgotten now. <laughs> he said, yes, I extremely love it. And his girlfriend Zendaya said, no, you yuck, right? And it was only after that she said yuck that, she, that he changed his mind from absolutely delicious to, to it was just okay. It was now no longer delicious. It was now just okay. He still liked it, but he wasn't, he wasn't like, oh yeah, it's amazing. He's now over here. He's like, yeah, it's just all right. <laughs> Whipped. But one thing really upset me. Close up. Wasn't even focused then, was it? Was it focused? I don't know. One thing upset me. I'm pretty sure in this interview, Zendaya said, biased. She said, I've never tried pineapple on pizza. And it's yuck. How on earth can you say that? You've never tried it, Zendaya. Why is this camera not focusing? It usually does. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. We all do this, including me, but we shouldn't. We get told things. We get told things that, well, we get told things by someone else. And then instead of, instead of trying that thing or witnessing that thing or experiencing that thing ourselves, we go on the words of someone else, right? And now we hate that thing because our friend, our best friend, our parents, our parents, you know, for example, hate that thing. And now we hate that thing too. Why do that? Why? We are focused now. Hmm, not bad. Why deny yourself the experience of a beautiful taste or a beautiful situation in life? Why deny yourself of that? Because someone else has said it to you. Now, obviously, if someone says to you, well, don't put your hand in hot water because it will burn you. I mean, obviously, you should listen to that. Unless, of course, you want to experience it for yourself. And then fair enough, experience it for yourself. And then you'll come to realize why your friend did say that. 
But when it comes to certain movies that they don't like, or certain TV shows that they don't like, certain foods, certain places that they don't like, you, naturally, your friend, you, you, you tend to listen to them, right? Your parents, you tend to listen to them. It's biased. It's biased on the highest level. Wow, this is so good. Wow. So good. Mm. That reminds me. Wow. Hang on. Oh man. Oh man, I've got something good for you guys. Hang on. All right. You know how there are flat earthers? <laughs> There's a whole society of people that believe that the earth, the earth is flat. Anyway, forget about that. There's a, there's, a, there's a group of people, apparently, that believe that Australia doesn't exist. This is a real phenomenon, right? Now, as you guys know, I live in Sydney, Australia. All right? Currently eating my pizza right here in Sydney. There are people out there that believe that Australia doesn't exist. And some people that are gullible, mentally, right, they believe that these people, what these people are saying is true. They believe that Australia is a made-up country made up by the governments of the world. Of course, I don't know the whole situation as to why they think this. I just know bits and pieces of it, right? So I'm pushing the jigsaw puzzle of knowledge together as best as I can, right? But they really believe Australia doesn't exist. And because some people say this, other people start to believe them. It's the same with flat earthers, right? Now, in the comment section... In the comment section on social media, right? This is my one, by the way. Where are we? It doesn't even have it. My pineapple one doesn't isn't even shown on there. Maybe because this is an already pineapple one. Hang on, I'll twist my pizza around. I'll hold the pizza. And I'll twist it around. There we go. I've ripped the box up, but anyway, in the comment section, kind of went off topic for a second there. People are from Australia and saying, you, you know, you idiots kind of thing. I live in Australia. Come down here and come see us, you know. <laughs> we are a real people, you know, right? Yeah. And of course, the, the flat earthers, the people that believe that Australia doesn't exist, they say, hmm, I'm not coming there. There's no, there is no there. There doesn't exist. Some people are so biased to their own thoughts that they're unwilling to give anyone's, anyone else's point of view a go. Any, anyone else's point of view an actual think about, right? What, you, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Some people just don't listen to anyone else but their own minds. I mean, wow! Mental illness! <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what we're talking about here, right? How did this turn into Peter, Zendaya, Spider-Man? I still can't remember his name. Toby, not Toby Maguire, not Andrew Garfield, but the other one. Tom Holland. Oh, shit. There we go. Tom Holland, right? How did this turn into this situation? I don't know. The point is, going back to food, some people, they really believe. Wow, this is so good. They really believe what they want to believe. No, no matter what the general society of, of the world believes, right? At this point in time, we all, we all know, and we have known for a long, long time, that the Earth is round, right? But there are people out there that believe the Earth is flat. There was even a guy who launched a rocket. He built... He was a smart guy, right? I mean, he's smart in some ways, right? He built a rocket... And he was going to go fly his rocket to space to see if the world was flat or round. Did you hear about this? This was a real thing. He was smart enough to build rockets, right? A few of them failed. 
I'm, I, I, I can't remember the full story, so I'm, I may be butchering some of this information, but if you've heard about this, you already know what I'm talking about, right? He ended up flying up as high as the rocket would allow him to go. I don't know how high that was, but he ended up dying. His rocket blew up, I believe, in his process, in, in his progress to try and find if the world was flat or round. I, I will give him points, right? At least he tried to learn. <laughs> he tried to, but the problem was he tried to learn from himself, right? Instead of gathering all the information, all the information and all the knowledge that we've already learned from society, from humans, you know, for thousands of, for hundreds of years, right? Because we haven't known that the Earth is round for th for hundred for thousands of years, probably. We've known for hundreds, probably. How long? How long has humanity known that the Earth was round? Let me know down below but wow it makes you wonder well, one more proof Wow, my goodness. The last time I did a mukbang, a few months ago now, maybe even more actually, but I'm pretty sure I had a chicken, an Indian chicken curry in front of me. <laughs> I had a garlic naan and an Indian chicken curry in front of me. Does anyone remember saying that? I may or may not link it in the description below. I mean, at this point, I don't really care if you guys, if you guys watch it or not. I don't really care at all, to be honest. But yeah, anyway. I may start doing more mukbangs in the future. Um, I have, have food. I have food on my ATEM Mini. So you guys are on camera five right now. If I go to number one, that's number one. Going back to five, if I go to number two, this is number two. Going back to five, if I go to number three, this is number three. Uh, four is my computer, but my computer's off right now, so we're basically on five, right? Just thought I'd show you guys what's going on. Anyway, we've got one more piece of uh, pizza left. We'll zoom in a little. <sighs> and for anyone wondering, yes, I have a few moths flying around my studio. A uh, bit of a problem. I've got bird. I've got a bird cage over there, and they, all, they always seem to gain popularity every now and then, even though we kill them and suck them up and throw them outside and whatever. We're trying to get rid of them as much as we can, but. You know, they give birth and stuff like that. They, they come in, in the seed boxes from the shops. That the shops that we buy the seed boxes from, that's where they come from. See? Go away. Get out of here. So good. So basically, Zendaya is saying that she doesn't want to eat pineapple pizza because... Well, she's never tried it, but she doesn't want to try it because, yuck. Why? She's allowing other people to dictate how she eats. And she could be enjoying a beautiful pineapple pizza, right? Look, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe <laughs> maybe the majority of people hate pineapple pizza. I don't think that's right. But look, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like pineapple on your pizza or not? But, but having said that, have you actually ever tried it? Now, you may, you may have actually tried pineapple by itself. And maybe that's why you don't want pineapple on a pizza, because you didn't like that experience. But have you ever actually tried pineapple on a pizza, where it's nice and warm and tasty and wow? Let me know down below. I'm going to hold this in my hand, so I hopefully don't forget... To unwrap this in a second. Knowing me, I usually turn the camera off. I'm usually like, all right, thanks guys, bye bye. And I've forgotten to actually show you. Wow. Hmm. Drink time. Wow. So good. I genuinely have no idea what's in this.
Mm. Wow, that is honestly finger licking good. And I'm sorry if you're disgusted by me speaking with my mouth open, but you know, I'm a content creator, I can't have to speak every now and then. Oh, very nice. Studio screws. That's it. Studio screws, look at that. I will be doing a review on these things at some point. Um, yeah, double-ended double -ended screws. One is, hang on, is it gonna focus? There we go. One is a bigger size, and one is, a, the other side is a smaller size. So we will be doing a review of that at some point uh, in the studio about my, my apparatuses and, you know, I'm an old man, look at the apparatuses. Uh, all my lights and stuff, use these kind of screws and cameras use these screws so yeah all right guys hope you like the video i certainly did it was yummy and tasty bye bye two and one instagram facebook youtube at tallboy gareth like and subscribe i've been told my name's gareth and i'll see you beautiful people tomorrow <sighs> see ya